Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and it is time for look of the week where I recreate my favorite makeup look from the past week. Um, I didn't put up a look of the week last Sunday because I thought the look that I had worn the most that week was boring. And I thought, oh, this is kind of boring. It's just really fast 10 minute makeup and I have been doing it every single day. But then I did that same look the following week, which was this past week every single day. It takes about 10 minutes. Um, I love it, including an eyeshadow trio that I cannot believe I have fallen in love with as much as I have. But yeah, it took about, it takes about 10 minutes. I've been wearing it every single day um, for work. And yeah, I'm just gonna recreate it for you. And I love it, I love it so much. So let's just get on with it because it's supposed to take about 10 minutes, but I'm gonna keep talking. Okay, so I have on under eye concealer and eye primer already, of course the Tarte CC under eye corrector that I have misplaced. Where is it? You know what it looks like, this one right here. I also have on the Morphe Eyelid Primer and I haven't been wearing foundation. I'm just gonna use a concealer and I've been kind of just grabbing for whatever. Uh, like I have the Wet n Wild Incognito. I was using some of the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind a lot. I was using the Pat McGrath one a lot. But I think I'm gonna use the uh, Wet n Wild today. This is the Incognito Concealer in the shade, there's a hair on my lip, got it. Uh, light beige. So this also has a little bit of a scent and I didn't like it at first but I have really started liking it a lot. It's not too strong. It definitely goes away quickly. Uh, kind of weird that it's scented but it's not too bad. I've been enjoying it. And it's a decent coverage concealer but where the main coverage is going to come from, freaking Bare Minerals. I cannot believe how in love with the Bare Minerals loose foundation powder I am. I love it. Uh, Ulta is going to do Bare Minerals Pressed Foundation Powder for their 21 Days of Beauty and I've already like circled it. I'm like, I'm buying that. I am staying up till 11 p.m. because they tend to put their, um, the sale live the day before at 11 p.m. As far as I noticed, I know they did it last year or not last year, but on their last sale. Was that last year? I don't know. And I missed out on a couple things that I really wanted. So now every day at 11, I'm like, I'm staying up. I don't care if I get up tired, I'm buying it. Anyway, I want to buy that. So this uh, next product is the um, Bare Minerals Original Foundation in the shade Fairly Light. I have been using this uh, as like a spot foundation or spot concealer. And I've really been liking it like that because I don't love this on my whole face. I think it's just a little too shiny and a little bit too, um, I don't know, it's just a little too shiny. So I am gonna put it on my forehead. I have a lot of discoloration there. I've also been putting it right here and then a little right here, a little on the chin and a little around the nose. And I know that sounds like I'm putting it on my whole face, but it's a lot different when I'm just, I'm literally putting it just right here, not anywhere here, not here, just on the forehead, the nose, and then these little like darkened areas right here on the chin a little bit, um, anyway. Just pour a little bit out on the lid and then I'm, I've been loving this brush for it. This is from Pract, the concealer brush and I decluttered all the other brushes I had from this brand because I think they're terrible. Uh, but this one came in very handy uh, for this uh, type of thing. So I'm just gonna pat it in on my forehead. I don't think I poured out enough, but it's all right. We can always build it up. <clears throat> and I feel like, I don't know if this has a shimmer in it but it just, it's just so shiny when you get it on your whole face. And then when I put setting spray on top of it yesterday, I was like, what the heck? It looked like a mirror finish. I had to go back in with some mattifying powder in certain areas because it was, it, I had to tone it down. It was just a little much. All right, so it's starting to cover it up. I'm not gonna go crazy. Like I'm not trying to cover it up 100%. I just want it to be more uh, camouflaged. So I'm just tapping the brush into the powder and kind of just really working it in there. And we'll just do another little tiny layer. That's good. Oh my gosh, for some reason this brush is like tickling the heck out of my forehead and I want to scratch it so bad. Okay, anyway, wrong way. I'm just going to take some more and pat it in this area because I have this vein right here. And every now and then someone calls that out and goes, oh, you got some makeup right here. And I remember one time this coworker of mine said that. 
um, she goes, oh, you have some makeup right there. And I was like, I do? And she goes, yeah, it's like blue. And I go, oh, it's actually just a vein. And she goes, are you sure? Are you sure? Do you Are you sure that's a vein? And I'm like, oh, stop talking. Anyway, I think about it all the time. I don't know why, it was just so funny. And then another time, I wasn't wearing any makeup to work that day. I don't know why I woke up and my skin, I was like, oh my God, my skin looks so good. I just put eyebrows and mascara and I went to work and I felt so good. And I pulled my hair up in a bun. I don't know, I was just feeling really good about my skin that day and I was like, dang, I'm just gonna let my skin shine. And a coworker came up to me and she put her hand on my shoulder. And she said, is everything okay? And I was like, yeah, why? She goes, you just look really sick and I want to make sure you're okay. And I was like, and I told her, I was like, I, I never normally would have said anything. I was like, oh no, I'm fine. But I told her, I was like, no, I actually felt amazing today. I didn't wear any makeup. I said, but now I actually feel like crap. Thanks. Yeah, because you shouldn't tell anyone they look sick. They look tired, stuff like that. But I think I have told people they look tired. I don't know why. I feel I just feel like that's something I would say to one of my coworkers. I don't know why. But don't do it. It's not good. Anyway, so there we go. Coverage done. Forehead camouflaged. And then this like veiny part here covered up enough. Um, I just really love it. It looks like skin too. Like it doesn't look heavy. It wears all day. Like this stuff is amazing. I cannot wait to try the pressed version. If you have it, let me know uh, how it is. Is it as good? Is it better? Let me know. I want to know. All right. Next thing is bronzer. I've been kind of just bouncing around with different bronzers. This is the ASOS. Super old discontinued one, but this is the one I've actually been using the most. It's the NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna, but this little tiny size is bothering me to get the brush in there. I don't feel like I ever get an even amount on the brush. I don't know. I kind of want to get a full size, but I don't need it. Like, it's a nice bronzer, but it's not. Oh, you know what? No, I want to use this one. The Rimmel bronzer and the Rimmel natural bronzer in the shade Sunlight. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I, I had used that one a few times, but I used this yesterday, and I this is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. It's the bronzer that made me actually like bronzer. I love the tone of it. It's got a little red, got a little orange, really easy to blend, and it's just really pretty. I forgot I wanted to use it today. And then the eye, the eyeshadow, the blush and highlight so actually the eyeshadow and this blush palette, Emily made me buy it, Emily Noel, or all of our internet best friend, she made me buy both of these things because she talked about this palette only one time and then she never used it again until I think she pulled it out in a shop my stash or something recently. But when she used it that one time, I it stayed in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. And it was always sold out and I got a notification that it was back in and I was like, I clicked on it right away and bought it. And it is the Will Powder Blush Quad from The Balm. And I think The Balm is doing a 50% off sale right now. They do like a half off sale on their website a couple times a year and everything sells out. All the good stuff is gone right away. Anyway, this is really, really, really pretty. So it comes with uh, three blushes and a highlight. That highlight is so beautiful. Uh, I've been bouncing around in all the blushes, but the one I wore almost every day was this one, this orange one. So I'm going to use the highlight. It's just this really pretty, pinky, like really shiny highlighter. And I think when I had the Bare Minerals all over my face, and then I had this highlight on, and then the setting spray I used, it was overkill. Oh my gosh. So I'm actually not going to use setting spray today because... Um, well, I'll tell you about it when we get to that step. Getting ahead of myself. Ah, oh, so pretty. Love it. A little on the nose. And then the blush, I'm going to be using the shade called Perseverance, and it's that orange, beautiful one. None of these blushes in here are matte. Is that one matte? I can't tell if this one's matte or if some of the highlight has just fallen into the top of it. But I think that one's matte. I think some of the highlight sparkle has just settled on the top a little bit. But the other two are not. They're very shiny, glowy blushes. Um, but they're so pretty. 
Nice orange cheek. Never hurt nobody. All right, there we go. Oh, I love it. I love this color of blush with that highlighter. I think it looks so nice. And I love this blush brush. All right, I'm going to um, put on some eyebrows real quick using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the shade Deep Brunette. And then I'm gonna use some brow powder and then the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is one that I didn't use to like and then I fell in love with it and now it's bothering me again. Cause I feel like when I put it on, it holds and then when I'm done with my makeup, I gotta do another coat. Like it's, it start falling again and looking like this. So I don't know, it's, it's brow gel, I'm using it. So let me throw the eyebrows on real quick and then we'll get on with this eyeshadow trio that I just, I can't, I can't put it down. All right, so they're on for the most part, but they're gonna start falling again. And then I'm also gonna add some more powder once the uh, gel dries. So they're just gonna look a little like this for a little bit. Anyway, the eyeshadow trio. This is the CoverGirl um, Eye Enhancers Eyeshadow Trio in the shade Shimmering Sands. Okay, so I actually tried to buy this and I thought I already owned it a year or two ago. Um, and as I was using it, I was like, this doesn't look the same as when I see other people use it online. But I didn't look at the shade. I just looked at the slot at the store that said Shimmering Sands and I grabbed the one that was there without double checking that it was the right one. And it wasn't the right one. I was using it for months and it was not even Shimmering Sands. It was so funny. Anyway, so I did buy the real thing uh, earlier this month. I can't put it down. I can't. It's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's what everyone says it is. Easy peasy, go to. So I'm gonna use this middle shade here all over the lid. Then I'm gonna get this little bit darker one, mostly on the outer corner and then a little bit, I kinda just, I kinda just get both of them, mush them all around my eyelid. And then this lighter one, I get and I put on the inner corner and then a little bit here on the first like part of the eyelid. And I've been doing that every single day. I just, freaking love it. So I'm just gonna put it all over that middle shade. And these are all uh, shiny shades as well. They all have shimmer in them. Uh, but there's something about that this shimmer that looks so nice. Like it's not a foiled eyeshadow. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm sure you've seen this. I'm not showing you anything you don't know. Uh, but it's really subtle. And it's a really, really, well done shimmer. Um, it's it's not a foil, it's not a metallic, it's just a nice, super nicely finely milled shimmer that looks great in the crease uh, because it kind of bounces light around in the nicest way. It doesn't enhance any like extra eyelid skin, anything like that. And I have, you know, some extra eyelid skin, but this isn't enhancing any of that. It's just so pretty. Um, I totally get it now and I've worn it every single day, literally every day. Then I'm just going to get that darker shade and, uh, just mostly here on the outer corner or we'll see what I end up doing. I've also worn that one just all over the lid. They all just blend so nicely cause they're all the exact same formula. And when you're blending around, you can't really see, like you don't have to go crazy trying to diffuse the color or anything like that because it's just such a nice formula. It blends so nice. I wish this is the formula they would use in their eyeshadow palettes because those, they're not, they're not the best thing ever. I don't love the shimmers in there. They're kind of like those ones when you touch it, they like start crumbling and falling apart. And they have something amazing right here, but they don't put this in a big palette. I don't know why. I'd buy it. Now that I have this, I'd buy that all day if it was in a palette. All right, so this is what I've been doing every single morning. I get this on. The light in here is kind of making it look a little bit lighter than it actually is. And granted, it's not the darkest eyeshadow palette ever, so it's not like a super smoky eye, but it's a little bit deeper than it's coming off on camera, just cause you know, the sun and stuff. And that's it. I'm gonna get my little e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm gonna take this uh, lighter shade here and then I'm just going to pat it all on the inner corner right here. 
and a little bit right here just to kind of really brighten it up and like I said it's kind of bright in here so I'm not sure if it's really making a big impact on camera but in real life it's just so nice and these colors are just like the perfect amount of definition so on the days when I'm running late or I'm just not feeling like putting a big eyeshadow look on and then wiping my fallout and I just don't really feel like doing all those steps but most of the time I would just go without eyeshadow but I don't like the way my eyelids look when I have a rest of make my full face of makeup on with no eyeshadow on they just look like I left them off like they're left out um, but this is like the perfect little something a little bit of definition um, so I don't just have a completely bare eyelid and it's like no effort like you don't need to do anything you just mush it on your eye all right I'm going to well not do that okay I'm going to put on a little more brow powder mascara and then we'll just wrap it up all right mascara is on I got the lash sensational sky high on the lower lashes and the um, Tarte Surfer Curl on the upper lashes. I love this mascara. I just finished one up, opened up a new one, and this one has nothing else left in it, but there's enough in there to keep using it on the lower lashes, and I'm just gonna, just gonna use it for that for now, till it runs out completely. But yeah, that is it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know how much you love Shimmering Sands. Have you been using this since middle school? Have I missed the boat for that long? Yes, I have, because this is freaking amazing. I love just the perfect amount of definition it gives my eyes, especially on days when I don't feel like doing eyeshadow, I'm running late, but I still want to do all the steps. And it's just so easy, like no fallout, blends like a dream. It's, it's perfect, and I have, it's literally amazing. Literally amazing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye.